Hi, this is Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a wiki on your Blackboard site. Uh, first thing that you want to do is decide where you'd like your wiki. I'm going to go ahead and put mine in my assignments area, so I'll just click on my assignments tab here on the left hand side. And we'll wait a moment for that to come up. Sometimes it takes a while, but as long as something's spinning, you know, it's probably working. Okay, so my assignments shows that my folder is empty. And if you notice here on the right hand side, I've got a little edit view uh, link, and I'm going to click on edit view. All right, uh, in edit view, I've got this new tab up on top that shows me all the things I can add. And if I scroll all the way over to the right, I'll see this select learning unit option. And this is where I'm going to use some of my advanced features. If I click on the little um, arrow, I'll notice that here I get lots more choices to select and one of the options to select is a wiki. And I'll go ahead and choose wiki and I don't want to hit OK here because that'll just take me back to the previous page. I need to hit this little go button right here in order to initiate the wiki. And now I need to fill out the uh, create wiki page and I just need to name the wiki. I'll call it new wiki. I could give it a description if I like. And then I've got lots of different options, lots of different switches that I can use. So I can make the wiki available. That's default set to yes. Select the value to use to reference the users in the wiki. You can choose to reference them by username, person name, or by, um, let me scroll over a little bit, uh, person name and username or given name. By default, it chooses person name. So I'll select person name. Text direction for wiki content is going to be left to right unless you're doing something um, in a right to left language like Arabic. And then member settings. By default, all course members are added to the wiki, but you can choose different people if you'd like by clicking the specific groups and course members. And let me scroll down a little bit more. And now Next option, allow students to permanently delete wiki pages. I don't consider that to be a particularly good idea, so I never check that. But you may have other uh, reasons for wanting to do that. Allow members to export the wiki. By default, that is set as, as off, and I would probably not set that to on unless I had a specific reason for it again. And now this one is important. Allow members of the wiki to uh, view comments is usually an important thing if you wanted uh, students to comment on each other's wikis. Um, write comments. Well, obviously, um, if they're going to view the comments, then they're going to need to be able to write the comments. And you probably don't want them to delete comments. Um, and those are the two that I like to set. You can set t date and time restrictions for editing the wiki. I don't d generally choose that. Um, you could choose to have non-members view the wiki if you like. And then you could allow non-members to um, view comments, write comments, or delete comments. You can also choose to have a gradebook entry created. It's not created by default. So if you wanted to have a gradebook entry for this particular assignment, you could check create a gradebook entry for the wiki. And I can say sample wiki. And I'll give it a points possible. I'll give it 100 points. And then I can choose whether or not to display the grades to the students. And that's basically it. And if I scroll over here to the right, I'll see I can hit OK. and my wiki has been created.